Morgen, viel zu früh, wie David schon gesagt hat. Um, this keynote is going to be in English, because we have a lot of international people here. And it's about, is taking more blessed than giving? During my pre preparation of this keynote, it was, I got, had a really hard time. Well, what can you tell to that topic? The idea was, yeah, we can motivate you. We can tell you, you should join Joomla. You should work for us. But you all heard that. There's a new Joomla recruitment team with my good friend Victor here, who is looking for new members. But it's really hard to tell something which you don't know. Because we are 200 people here in this room, and most of you are participate, do participate, do participate, participate at Joomla events. <laughs> in the current state, in the current state, I'm just too tired, <laughs> and it's hard to talk when you are tired because you didn't sleep, because you drink too much with your good friends here. So, for most of you, it's not your first Joomla day. In the last years, we often heard Joomla is dead, that we are fighting windmills. And yeah, we are all a bit stressed and depressed sometimes. Joomla has millions of websites. And a lot of people making the living out of that. Most of you here in that room. But working on Joomla can be exhausting. For example, let's take my good friend Ufuk. Most of you probably met him. He's somewhere there in the back hiding. <laughs> Ufuk is the one person I would tell a real fun-loving and positive person. Always full of energy, always happy, just like that Duracell bunny. But then he became the marketing team leader of Joomla. <laughs> Since then, he changed. Nowadays, he's more often seen <laughs> sleeping on events like that. I'm not sure, have you seen him yesterday? <laughs> That's the result of that. It's not that easy. And this is just a small collection of images proving that. He's so exhausted. <laughs> He's even sleeping during keynotes, as you can see here. Okay, it was George's keynote on Joomla 4, but that wasn't his fault. Even doing code sprints like the new media manager one, he always needs to lay down. He's tired. What can we do about that? And whom to blame? A lot of people say the Joomla community is not so warm welcoming. For example, take Christopher here. Everyone says he's driving you nuts with his SEO voodoo stuff. Or let's take Nicolas, who is not always friendly at GitHub. Or maybe we can just blame the alcohol which we abuse a lot in Joomla. Maybe it's that, who knows? Or maybe it's a board who decided for a new Joomla vision slogan. Uh, I need to read that. Joomla, the Joomla, the powerful platform, no, the flexible platform, empowering website creators. That's what the board decided as new target group, new focus, new vision. And Ufuk is really working hard on implementing that idea. They got a total new direction, not any more end users, but agencies, integrators, like most of you here are. So he's working hard, getting that team up and running again. He's thinking all the time on what can we do the for Joomla, he tries to get new people in. I'm sure he talked with most of you already here and said, you need to join us, we need your help. He's the big minion for all of you. 
Because when Jumna shines, you shine too. And all the tasks that are needed to run Jumna are just on a really few people, less people than here in the room. Maybe around 50 people make Joomla happy, happen. There are a lot of people who contribute translations or single pull requests. But the base amount of work in Joomla is really just on a small core team. And they bear all the responsibility to make Joomla happen. And that's not an easy task. When Robert, for example, pushes something, pushes a new release, and it breaks your sights, Everyone is good at yelling and screaming at him that we fuck up and that we are really stupid and we don't know what we are doing. But when it's on testing, a pre-release, that's not really done and most people are not helping. So, to say it with Dr. Joomla's words, you are not depressed, your life is just crap. So, what can we do about that? What should we do? It's really hard. And you see, we are all a bit depressed. And, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. I think I gave you some good reasons to join Joomla. At least to save Ufuk. He really needs your help. You really should talk with him in the next days. We can use any one of you. You're all skilled in us. And yeah, that should have been a recruitment speech, actually. And you know what? This is a benchmark on Peyton, how much our volunteers are. Or let me start again. This is a survey. We do a survey round with all our volunteers. And that's a benchmark for workload. As you can see, that's the one point we really suck at. Why? I told you already, most of the work is distributed on just a few people. And we are all working hours and hours of our free time. Everyone is thinking Joomla is open source, Joomla is free. But Joomla requir requires real work. So. It's not free in terms of people, in teams, uh, terms of hours that put into it. And as you can see, we also have some points where we are better at, where we shine. So there's a lot to gain. You can gain something in learning meaningful work. You have management support. And we are really good at the stats in comparison to other companies and nonprofits. You know, Joomla is a family, and family can be sometimes, and you all know how family can be sometimes. So, if you want a good reason to join Joomla, join for the people, the people that work every day, countless hours, to make Joomla happen. They give all their love, all their passion, to make it successful. And because of that, Joomla is not just a software. Joomla is not software. It's a community. It's the only content management system that is completely run by volunteers. No one is paid. All are working for free. And because of that, Joomla is you. It's a community. It's everyone here in that room. And these are the people you want to know. Really. Brave and awesome people, like Ufuk, who's giving his best to get you money, to get Joomla successful. So, I could tell you hours long on everyone here, what people gave and what they did for Joomla. And you can never estimate how much they gave. A lot of people gave their whole life, their whole time, years of their life, just to make Joomla happen. And these people are the reason you should join the community. They need your help. And you can be part of something great. And we really want to know you. Thank you.
So what next, David? Ja, was gibt's denn schönes, Stefan, jetzt?